Our population is aging. New technologies allow us to live longer lives. But are we living better? Across Southeast Asia, the demand for healthcare is escalating. To meet this increasing demand, we need new innovations in the field of medicine. In this day and age, where we have an abundance of data, where we now have AI, it's really a topic at the convergence of showing great innovation as we go forward. Can technology create a healthier world? Wearable health devices can now give more insight into our health. One startup exploring this is Centub. I think vital signs reading is actually the cornerstone of health and well-being. Centub is developing a wearable that can monitor vital signs. There's been a fair bit of work just on the wearable alone, but the wearable by itself is actually not very intelligent. You actually have to send the data to somewhere which is known as a gateway. So it's actually system-driven, but with input from uh, human beings to make sure that it does the right thing. It does heart rate, temperature, oxygen level in the blood, which is basically a proxy whether someone is suffocating or choking. More importantly, it also does four alerts. We are using two sensors, a accelerometer and gyroscope. So depending on the speed and the angle, uh, the system would then predict whether this guy was actually uh, fainted and fallen. In Singapore, primarily, you have devices that actually track activity and maybe even heart rate. This actually goes a bit more into the medical field to detect when someone actually a condition is deteriorating and you actually have to intervene early. With more data at our fingertips, we can build a better picture about what our patients need. And that lets us customize better treatments for them. But what if we could predict diseases before they become fatal? One company looking towards the future is Expert Flow. Approximately 49 million people are affected by sepsis throughout the world, and 11 million people lose their lives due to sepsis. Commonly known as blood infection, it leads to organ failure and eventually death. It can be found in anyone, but the major effects of this disease are the children under 5 years of age, adults who are 55 years and older and the mothers who are going through the childbirth. Uh, we have developed an AI-based platform that predicts this disease. It gets the patient vitals, and this data is fed to the algorithm. The algorithm then develops some certain patterns of this data and predicts whether this patient will be going into sepsis or not. Our basic focus and the goal when we founded this startup was to reduce the mortality rate due to sepsis. Hopefully, within the next one year, we will be able to save a lot of people. Technologies like SenseHub and ExpertFlow are a clear sign that healthcare is going in the right direction. All it needs is a little push. And that's where Tomasic and Startup X come in through HyperSpark, the world's first sustainability accelerator. I think that both startups, behind both of them, there are great founding teams with fantastic ideas that are meaningful, that affect you know, large portions of our population. And this is not only for Singapore, but they are actually focused on global health issues. With the expert flow, we are also focusing on the business and financial side. And I think that that is probably the area where I could help them the most and advise them the best. Working for Temasek, we are a steward of our portfolio companies. There's also fostering an ecosystem of entrepreneurs, which are focused not only on building great businesses, but also sustainable ones. And, and most likely those two go hand in hand. And I think this is really what we want to achieve.